Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ryan, but you can call me Ray. Today's video is a video that I literally said I was going to do what feels like weeks ago. I really don't even know the concept of time right now, but anyways, today's video we're just going to hang out and play with these two palettes here. These are the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection palettes, so we have C1, which is this gorgeous, super fun pink palette. This is all of the shades on the back, which... By the way, this is so handy not have to even open the palette to show you guys what it looks like. And then this is C2. Ugh, I love this palette so much. This is C2. This is one that they just came out with that's exclusive to Ulta. And this is what the back of or what the inside of the palette looks like. I almost dropped that. That is mildly terrifying. This is what the palettes look like. We're just going to hang out and play with these to create a look using both of them, which is this look here. So if you want to watch that and just hang out for a little bit, then go ahead and keep on watching. So this is the look. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first shade we're going to go into is going to be in the Pink Edition palette. And it's going to be Slow Dive. So this darker blue shade. Okay, so this part is going to take a little bit of building up. So... Bear with me and I will probably cut out a good majority of it because probably boring <laughs> just to see me sitting there, you know, just adding more pigment and more pigment. So anyways, let's go ahead and kind of get the foundation of where we want this. go into the blush shade Melody. We're going to use that to blend out Slow Dive. And there's definitely a decent amount of fallout with these shadows, so that's why, that's why I started without my foundation on. I usually do that anyways, but definitely um, with these palettes, definitely want to do that. To the other palettes, so C2 or the orange edition, we'll take the blush shade in this palette, and this is retrograde. Oh, I totally just jabbed my fingernail into that. Originally, I was gonna go straight into Melody, or sorry, retrograde, but I added Melody in because I felt like there needed to be more of a gradient. Okay, so from there I'm going to take my glitter primer. So the glitter primer from NYX. I always take this on the back of my hand and then I'm basically just going to do a faux cut crease. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I do this literally almost on a daily basis. So, nothing new here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dip into the glitter primer and then with a flat brush, just place that down and focus it where I want the shadow to go. And this time I am focusing this a little bit above my crease, but not necessarily where I would normally cut my crease out because... Since I have a lot of lid space, when I do the concealer trick, it usually brings the line up like all the way up here and I just didn't feel like doing that today. Don't know why, it just didn't happen. <laughs> so we're just rolling with it this way. Okay, so after we put that down, we're going to dip into C2 and we're going to go 
with the shade Insomnia. So this shade right here. I was torn between this shade and then the other shade that's in the um, in C1, which is Ember. I feel like these shades are pretty similar. I'm actually going to swatch them out because this is something I wanted to do in one of my other videos and I didn't. So they are similar, um, but Ember is definitely a lot more golden than... Why can't I remember what the shade... That's the only downside to having the shade names on the back, even though I think that's really cool. And I'm glad that they actually do have the shade names in the palette somewhere. But because I'm looking at them back, it's like by the time I flip it over, I already forget what I just said. So Ember and Insomniac are definitely different, though they look like they could be really similar. Insomniac is definitely more of a true green, where Ember is definitely more of a golden, like, yellow tone. So my middle finger has Insomniac on it, and Ember is on this finger here. So while they are pretty similar in the general scheme of things, they're definitely not identical and I know that was something that people were saying like that they were kind of upset about that they were so similar and it's like I thought they were similar but really when you put them together I feel like they're definitely different like 100%. Okay so going in with Insomnia. Why I started with my brush I don't know. I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, much better. Always use my finger first and then when I get to the part where my nails are going to poke my eye out, I change to a brush. Also, I definitely realize that this brush is literally falling apart. That is kind of like a visual representation of my life right now. No, I'm kidding. Not really. Yes and no. It's just like this is such a weird time right now. Yes, I need new brushes, but <laughs> haven't gotten there yet. I used to soak my brushes like literally in the sink which isn't really the greatest idea because it messes with the glue and it causes things to eventually start falling apart probably faster than they normally would. Plus actually I definitely got these brushes I want to say maybe four or five years ago. They were a present in a big Morphe set from one of my friends and this was a very long time ago now so this is just an old brush. Alright so this definitely can use a little bit more of blending out and packing on but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera whenever I get to that point but I will show you guys what the rest of the look is gonna consist of so let's go ahead try to find the brush I was using. Okay. So for the inner corner highlight, we're going to go back into C1. And I totally realized that one, I've kind of done a look like this already. But two, um, I'm using C1 way more than the other palette. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into Club 9. This is going to be our inner corner highlight. And then underneath the eye, we're going to do the shade Skyrise in the other palette. So this one right here. And that's just going to be dragged right underneath as close to the lash line as we can get it wherever the brush I use. And actually what I did with this shade, because I did feel like I had a little bit of issues with the shade before, I am going to take a little bit of glitter primer and place that down before I dip into that color. And I did have glitter perm on the back of my hand still. So this is pretty much the look. 
I might go in with Supernova underneath my brow bone. I haven't completely decided yet. That is a really pretty iridescent shade and it is, or it does work really well underneath your brow bone. So I may possibly do that, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. So yeah, I'll let you guys know if I end up doing that. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup. Why do I always do stuff like that? I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, lend this situation out a little bit. And then I will show you guys what the finish looks like. Alright, so I'm back and this is the finish look. Okay, so I know before I left I said that I was possibly going to use the shade Supernova as my brow bone highlight and I did. So that is right there. I think you guys can see it a little bit. But yes, so I did do that. There isn't really going to be much talking at this point because this isn't a review or anything like that, but I love both of these palettes and I'm sure if you've seen any of my videos using either of these two that you know this by now that I absolutely love these palettes. I'm so excited and literally can't wait for them to come out with more because I literally just need and want more. Like I just need them now because most likely I will buy them. Anyways, I just think the quality of these palettes are really nice. I think that they're really fun. I love the color selections in both of them. It's funny because a lot of people didn't like the um, more neutral side to C2, and I honestly think I like this palette maybe a little bit more than I like this one. And by a little bit more, I mean like it's literally just like a hair more. And I think it's mainly because of these shadows here, which again, I know that's probably stuff that I've already said a million times already, but I really like these palettes and I just wanted to play with them a little bit more. It's just really funny because I totally did a look like this, very similar to this at least earlier this month, I think, or no, it was last month. Um, literally don't know what time is anymore. But I did do a look similar and I was like, wait, did I film that? Am I repeating a look that I already filmed? And turns out I didn't actually ever film that. So yes, this look is familiar for any of you that follow me on Instagram. But no, I guess I never filmed a look like that before. So I looked out. <laughs> I mean, I just, I really like both of these palettes. They're so fun. So many different things that you can do with them and the quality is just absolutely gorgeous so i hope you guys liked this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up i was doing thumbs up here and it's like you literally can't see that but yes if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we'll see you next time